Hello, Lola's. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Girl, what? <laughs> Make sure you hit that subscribe button and subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed. If you're already a subscriber, you're already a Lola, thank you. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad because you know you don't be wanting to miss stuff. Okay? <laughs> no, let me stop. Um, guys, if you're not part of the Chatterbox, make sure you click the link in the description bar to become part of the Chatterbox. Um, it is $1.99 for you to join. You do have to be at least 18 years old because it's grown folk business in there. And, <laughs> um, yeah, whatever. Anyway, so, guys, this is Baby Dallas. And Baby Dallas is the Dallas Sculpt by Dawn McLeod. And, um... She was reborn by me, and she was rooted by um, my rooter. And I've just—I—I I, I know it sounds bad, but my rooter gets so backed up to I can barely get in, so I can't be giving out her information. <laughs> ah! And now when she needs a business, I'll shout her out. But she don't need no business, honey, because she. I'd be like, please, please. But anyway, so she is a very special baby for me. And I'm like so this close to just saying, oh, I need to keep her. Because um, originally she was supposed to be my baby. Um, but, you know, time went by. But anyway, she is... Uh, a good um, zero to three month size, even probably bigger, because this actually, you guys know, um, Phoebe has worn this before, um, and she fits it very, very well. So she's a really good size baby. She's not a, a tiny, tiny baby, but she's very newborny. And I'm gonna get her some pictures. She's very nicely textured. Um, she has a beautiful, uh, like, I wouldn't quite say cinnamon brown, but she's a good, nice brown, um, tone. Um, but she does, she's the first baby that I've ever had rooted, that's a baby, rooted with human hair. Very nice curls. And so in person, it's so funny because it really looks like, you know, black baby's hair um once it began to curl up and everything so i really like that and i i got some baby edges to lay down on the side so um i had a real baby picture that i was trying to imitate and i think she did a great job at that so i'm really really loving her that's her without her binky um so she is going to be available when she's available, I pierced her ears. Um, she can be a boy. You know, I just have to take out the earrings. Um, but I'm going to send her home as a girl. People can choose to, you know, um, you know, dress dress them or change them however they want because she's a cloth body. So, let's see. So, so yeah. So, this this is my little tukaloo. And so see, she's she's got a cloth body, but like I said, she's just a really nice size. Um, she'll come with the standard box opening. My standard box opening is usually like two new outfits, a pacifier, blanket, and some diapers. I think that's it. Yeah. Um, she will have. Um, I don't want to speak too soon, but I, yeah, she will, she will actually have a Miss Serenity Smith, you know, little onesie shirt, side snap shirt or something to that effect. But yeah, but she is, and she's on just a regular body. She's not on a signature body. Um, but yeah, so I've priced her accordingly. Um, and that's what I do. Um, that's why I wait till my babies are done. She has a little scratch on the side of her face. I painted it there. 
but other than that she's really just really really nice little baby so the back of her hair let me show y'all guys so i know this is not a detailed video but <laughs> so the back of her hair is fairly short right it's fairly short but it's longer at the top so i may just in some of her pictures just you know style it differently so people can get an idea like i really was thinking about putting you know a few little knots up because you know we'd be quick to do that in the baby's hair and i think she could still get like little tiny ones you know and i think it'll be cute too so she's because she's really still baby um but yeah so that is her and of course you know she's weighted she's got um good weight to her so she's not a little feather but she's not like a brick either she's not overly heavy but but i like the way you feel mama so yeah so these these are this is the baby my one reborn that's ready now and then the only other baby that i have that is going to be available really soon is um genesis my silicone preemie and um i haven't quite decided 100 percent on her price i am rooting her so i wanted to try to make sure her rooting come out you know nice but um i kind of got an idea how much i'm gonna put for her for sale and i'll put that on my um uh, blog and i gotta remember i gotta put her on the blog too i just i was gonna put her on there and then i decided i don't know if i want to keep her so i didn't put her on the blog <laughs> So I'm going to put her on the blog when I take her official pictures today. I took some quick snaps yesterday and last night of her. Once her magnet was set, I took pictures. But when the sun come up and everything and stuff, and I can get some good, some even some more, you know, pictures, I will do a little bit more with her to show her. She has tip um, nails and toes. But yeah, she's, she's a cutie patootie. So she has rooted eyelashes as well but yeah so she's she is the baby um but yeah right now and and a lot of people ask are asking about payment plans right now normally what i do is i put the baby up for sale and i try to sell the baby straight out because sometimes people will pay straight out and i prefer to of course get them paid straight out um when possible um i don't necessarily like layaway plans with people that i'm not familiar with as much because i've had experiences where people you know want to back out cancel all that stuff and it's just a headache um but um i am gonna do layaway on some babies that i sell but this one I'm trying to just go ahead and get sold. As you guys know, I am also trying to uh, bring a baby home. So, <laughs> so I'm in a struggle, <laughs> you know. Um, no, I'm not in a struggle, but well, we all in a struggle to a certain extent. But you know what I mean. But yeah, so I'm really loving her. I love. I'm loving the 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 um the hair. I used to be against the human hair. And babies, you know, being this small because it's like, oh, they don't need. But to get in order to achieve that specific curl and look, I had to go with that. So, um, so yeah, so she has, um, she has human, human hair. I think she has babe, maybe some mohair around her edges though. I think to you know give it that really soft baby fine look on those edges girl we gotta get those edges snatched <laughs> but um but yeah she's she's a really as you can see she's she's really well blended with me um but yeah she's a good baby good baby good baby 
So yeah, I just wanted to pop on and show you guys this little tukanooka. And um, that's that. I think that, you know, like I said, I'm really loving um, Dawn um, kits, her sculpts. Um, I think they are underrated. I think that people, like she makes some of the most adorable faces. Like I fell in love with this. I have another one that I'm going to paint, but that one I'm going to keep. Um, as well. Oh, well, I keep saying I'm going to keep. <laughs> but I do have another one of her sculpts to paint. But I am really, really, like, loving her faces. So there's just so many sculpts out there that's just not hitting the radar so big yet. Because, you know, we get stuck on one sculptor or two sculptors. And it's just, you know, that's just it. And we just flood the market with the same faces and sculpts all the time. So I really enjoy joy painting her and you know having a different face you want to stay with me for a little bit longer because I could really dress her she she is a good size to where you could really put her in some things so I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna get her some pictures and a lot of times I'll be honest they wear clothes my baby clothes um just because um, oh my gosh, it's so funny. My camera is focusing on, um, Calvin's face. I guess it's detecting a face because of the photo. <laughs> and it's not, like, picking up on her, her face because this one is, like, the main focus. Anyway, um, so, what was I going to say? Oh, a lot of times I put them in, in, in my baby's clothes for photos and stuff because I usually shop for them, like, last minute, sometime. It just depends. I got to look in the closet and see if I have stuff for her already or not. But usually I get them sold first and then I go spend money. Girl, I ain't got the money to be spending just for them to end up staying with me because if they staying with me, they don't need no clothes. Right, poop? All right. Anyway, see you guys later. Talk to you in the next video. Bye.